And here we are for uh, the Cote tournament. This is the first round. This is Worlds Collide against Worlds Collide and a bit of a tough matchup for me. I've trained for this matchup. Um, and to be very honest, uh, not an easy one. My win rate was about 50% and I expect my opponent to be uh, much more uh, knowledgeable about his own deck than the, the, the player that nicely. And I've got a horrible hand. <laughs> and I've got such a horrible hand. Uh, hmm. I would play Brent now, I think, or maybe uh, maybe my Saurian. This is this is going to be tough. I've got a very very poor start. Okay, well I think I've I've not made a good choice. <laughs> oh la la. Okay. I kind of get the ID and he's putting uh, three Logos creatures. I need to cycle as soon as I can. Otherwise, this is not going to be pretty. I should destroy that, my creature. I, sh oh, I should not reap, I should destroy my creature. This is, I'm giving him an option to draw a card. This is not what I should be doing. Okay, so I already disagree with myself, and we're not even two minutes into the game, and he's got more uh, logos. So, so this is going to be very poor because he's archiving, he's drawing more cards. Uh, I would, I would have probably have drawn. He's reaping. He's okay. okay he's destroying some his creatures. He's reaping. Okay. Hmm. Probably shadows. I need to remember to play hit and run first. Yes. Okay. I am going to prevent him from reaping next turn and I'm going to play Brent. All right. This is not too bad. <laughs> it just has like four, four logos creatures. Why shouldn't he play Logos again when he can? Uh, and oh, okay. So for on top of that, he's got a discombobulator somewhere in his deck, maybe in hand, which would have be hilarious uh, when uh, when he's gonna play it because it's just it's just going to be. Uh, basically getting rid of my win condition somehow <laughs> so let's see let's see what we have in store uh, I heard the other day uh, somebody complaining that ragwalk was only hurting the first creature being played and I agree ragwalk should be you rip you get two damage okay he's discarding our master Molina that doesn't make sense I would have played it against the Eli I think he's realizing. Okay, no, fine. Light of the Archon, that works as well. Oh yes, triple lock of the Archon on top of it. You could have played the. Uh... Oh yeah, okay. He's he's discarded it because of the, because of the brand. Makes sense. It's actually nicely played. I think I need to play Sorian this turn. I don't want to play my Hawk. And I'm already way behind. Okay, so I'm going to. Play my cards. There we go. Oh, I'm trying to get Axiom. I have Axiom. That's gonna be fantastic. And I think I should keep it because I know he's got many, many more creatures. But unfortunately, I think I need to play it. And let's see. My guess is he's drawn into this combo later. At some point, it's going to come and bite me in the face. Well, looking at it in a bit of a way, it could be. I mean, if it's getting discombobulated now, it's not too bad. I can do something, I can work with that. The 
problem I have is if he wards creatures. Okay, he's fighting Jarta, he's getting rid of Jarta. Doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah. I like to complain people making misplays, but I would definitely have tried to draw an extra card. Okay, remote access, information exchange. Oh, this is lovely, nine ember. What will I do? Okay, Sorian, get rid of that board. He hasn't put the wards. That's the moment. You don't have a choice. I really don't have a choice here. There's nothing I can do. I need to. I need to uh, get rid of his board. It would be tempting. Okay, so the two options I have if I uh, destroy my board playing Sorian is whether or not I destroy the Brands to get to 7 Ember. And that's maybe what I'm getting at now. Um, I think it's not such a bad plan. Because the alternative is not pretty. Okay, Sorian. It's amazing. I, I record these games. I, yeah, okay, that's the plan. So I'm going to ward myself. I'm going to play Axion. Going to destroy the board, steal three. And now deal with that. And I get a horrible hand. Well, I mean, it was I was only drawing one, so it wasn't going to be a massive change. I realize how much this deck relies on uh, on a few cards to get efficient. There's not a lot of creatures and it gets quite quickly overwhelmed. Okay, uses trust no one, because why not? He plays his own brand, of course. And play a sack of coins. Oh, he's gonna kill his own brand. He's, isn't it? No, oh, no, he doesn't have enough. And he's got a massive, a massive, massive uh, board. So we're back with four creatures. And that's that is strategy I believe in. So one option would be to kill the brand now before it's too late. I think killing Brent now could be better than trying to get more Amber. I can't deal with these creatures. There's too many. <laughs> They're not big, but they're going to wreck me. So the question is, what do I do? Do I put the Calipigian ideal on Brent and kill it? I don't know how that works. I don't know. I don't know what's happened if I do that. I'm in a very, very bad situation. I can't establish a board and I've got a metric ton of Robnar waiting to be played and it's not it's barely got anything to deal with it so yeah Kali Pigeon no misplay I don't think I wanted to do that I think it would have worked. Oh, 
Oh well. I'm just calling it. I think it would have worked. Okay. I am getting pummeled here. Alright, so what's the plan? I've got zero ember, so you can't steal anything. That's the good news. That's probably what I was trying to do. To dissuade him from. Kill me. Okay, tactical officer moon is fine. Wow, all my good cards in my deck. Why am I drawing so little cards? Because I keep playing houses where I play one card instead of playing the house with instead of going through my deck. I think I think the mistake I'm making here is I'm not playing my hand. I'm trying to play the board, but as a result, I don't play enough creatures. And a discombobulator, because why not? Which is going to... Oh, but now he's got a Lucy. Oh. That won't work. I need to play shadows and I need to discard cards. It's not going to work. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'm just trying to make ease round less interesting, but that's, that's not helping. I'm chaining myself with three shadow scar. That's that's the interesting piece, because they don't move the game. Trust no one has become a dead card. Yatsi Gang is too slow for the pace of the game, and and Hawk Hawk is hurting me more than it's hurting him, because I'm actually quite happy that Ragwag is kind of. Pushing him to shift hands to to shift. All right. Probably. To, how would it? Okay, he's gonna play breaker heel. I think it's double breaker heel. So I remember running his clocks. Stealing more Ember from me, another Umbra, oh no, double Umbra, single Ronnie is Um He's taking the hit on Ragwag, and he's dealing one damage on my Chieftain, and he's uh, discarding my Scully Caper, which is, <laughs> in terms of board management, never been a great, great. Okay, so now Fidget is in the middle of the board. My Berserker Slam is not going to help much. Uh, okay. I need to kill the Umbra. I need to kill the Umbra. Yeah. When he's going to 40 second key. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a tournament game, but it's not a very exciting one. I want to dissuade him from playing uh, Shadows. It's not the greatest play, but it's going to matter, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Now, now the question is, the only way I can destroy that fidget is by uh, playing Brovnar again the next turn. And and that's not... That's not... Uh, that's not optimal again. But I'm short of tools to deal with this ball. That's just as simple as that. And even if I take out the fidget, he's gonna keep the break heal. 
it's gonna take me forever to to get back to where I want. Oof. I think you forgot uh, fidget to discard frame. No, oh, I'm discarding my hawk. Playing another bad penny. Oh, okay, so he wants to play the, the combo. And he plays another trust no one to steal another one from me. So, here's a check. Yeah, so I'm going to play. Rue, I'm going to attack his fidget, I'm going to kill his fidget, and I don't have anything to do then. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I can steal two next round. So if he's go, if he goes to eight, I lost. I lose. Simple as that. Attack on pulse. Okay. Five ember. Frame captures one. Okay. King can. Ah, uh, no, lost. Okay, so if he rips twice, I've lost. Uh, no, no, I haven't lost because he's got some shadows. Stealth mode, I can't play actions. Rips one. And he goes to eight. And he even goes to nine, interdimensional graft. Amazing. Okay. There's nothing I can do here. That's a good game. That's I mean he played this hand, he played this game very nicely. I played very stupidly. I really tried to control the board when I couldn't. I think I think the beginning was was just dreadful for me and there was not much I could do. Uh, but I'm not happy with how I played and I'm not happy how I dealt with my deck. So thanks a lot and we'll mitigate for the next round.